One hundred years. A century. On the centennial, the J.W. Woodward Funeral Home celebrates 100 years of service. I can't help but think about 1916. Being an African-American business during those times in our country couldn't have been easy. When we think about what has happened in our nation, in our city, um, in the South and the world in the last 100 years. To get up every day and continue to do business shows a lot of strength and courage. By virtue of the fact that it's lasted for 100 years in this community, probably says everything anyone needs to know about how it is valued by everyone. As I sit here in this room and I look around at the pictures on the wall and I see uh, the work that Dr. Woodward is doing today and I see the involvement of her children in the work, it's all about legacy. The idea of a funeral home for African Americans, a small seed planted by a farmer in 1916, has grown from a humble business into an institution for all of Spartanburg. And the community embraced that and continued to embrace it and enabled it to sustain for an entire century. I've known the Woodwoods down through the years. They've had this establishment for 100 years and I've known them more than 60 or 70 years. And I didn't know Mr. John, but I knew Mrs. Stinson very well. Knew Kay when she was a little girl coming up. I've been knowing the Woodards ever since I was a little kid. My father was acquainted with Mr. Woodard's father. My grandfather uh, passed three years before I was born, so I never had the pleasure of knowing my grandfather. Uh, he was highly respected in the community, and he and my father had an excellent working relationship. I had a phenomenal relationship working with my dad. Um, he taught me a lot. The one thing that I always admired is how he treated other people. We were very similar in our management styles. Um, it's my goal to be of service to everyone who walks in our door. My father, who was visiting Spartanburg to celebrate with us, fell ill and passed away unexpectedly. The phone call that I made to Kay that morning um, was a phone call that I'll never regret. So I know that there are hundreds of different situations that are different from the situation that I experienced personally, but I also recognize that the care is the same. When we walked through those doors, we were made top priority. To me, the culture of the service is caring. My grandmother passed in 07, and of course we came to Woodward Funeral Home, and they're, they're concerned, and they're loving, and they're kind, and they want to make the entire process a loving process. And I can say that has been my experience on more than one occasion. I was um, brand new in town, and uh, my husband and I lost our first child. The quality of the funeral for my daughter was amazing, and Miss Kay Woodward kept in touch with me kept on checking on me and my husband, and we pretty much became family. I've known Kay Woodward for a long time. Well, my daughter taught Stinson in third grade and said she was one of the sharpest children she ever taught. And my husband was in the insurance business, and he, Kay was a client of his for the company, and so he knew that she was uh, had integrity, she was very smart, and we discussed who we were gonna have to do our funeral when the time came. But my husband was adamant this was who he was going to use. Everybody was so professional and so sharp. Several of the people at my church said, the ushers were dressed better than we were. <laughs> I try to treat families the way I want to be treated, and I try to treat our staff the way I would want to be treated. I've been here for 45 years simply because I enjoy helping people, assisting them, and I look at it as a ministry. For a long time, my family has known the Woodwoods, and the Woodwoods have known my family, 
and we're just one big family together. And I can truly say that the Woodward family has been a caring family for so many over the years. I've been here 15 years because I enjoy uh, the ministry side of working with the families and meeting their needs during their difficult times. It doesn't matter what background they come from, how much money they have, uh, Ms. Woodward will work with you uh, no matter what. On a personal note, my family, uh, we have used Woodward down through the years of life, uh, and that speaks volumes. Generations after generations uh, have supported um, the J.W. Woodward Funeral Home. I get enjoyment out of seeing a family, the pleasure on their face, their loved ones. And uh, it's just something about families working with them. You know, the loved ones, that's their last time seeing them. And you know, the respect they give us afterwards saying, hey, you did an outstanding job, that makes me feel good. Believe it or not, my father brought me on board, which you know he was here for a number of years. I'm glad he brought me into this. And I think that was a calling, really. Dr. Woodward was very embracing of the fact that I was a female wanting a position in this field. Well, I am Hispanic and I do speak Spanish fluently. I believe families feel extremely comfortable once they are in a setting where an individual can communicate with them. My background is a plus and I'm very proud of it. First of all, the love of fellow man and the respect of fellow man. And just just giving back, loving you know what you do, and I felt that this is a calling. It's better than a job. So much more than just a funeral home, Woodward's is a pillar of Spartanburg's north side. This was the establishment of the community. In those days, there weren't EMSs and all of that sort of thing, this was old school. And when you needed an emergency care, you called Woodward's. And they had lending facilities when you needed a little helping hand and all of these sort of things, you know. We uh, do a community function. We have a cookout annual that's for the community. So it's, it's, it's a lot that Woodward does, not like I say, just on the, the funeral end, but just uh, to the community. The J.W. Woodward Funeral Home represents dignity, reliability, and compassion for our community. It's a beacon of hope, uh, it's a beacon of compassion, and it continues to stand uh, firm uh, in providing care and support for the people of our community. Their role in the community um, has rippled out into the neighborhood and this community as a whole. They have contributed across the board in so many ways, uh, from uh, education uh, to helping to develop the North Side. Uh, their involvement in that alone has been both encouraging and terribly important. From John W. Woodward to John Stinson Woodward to Dr. K. E. Woodward, the Woodward Funeral Home thrives on a legacy of servant leadership. When you think of Woodward Funeral Home today, you think of Kay Woodward. Kay is a person that reaches out and touches so many lives. But there's a certain bun. She's just like the daughter I never had. When I think of a, a woman that has it all together and is very professional, I think of Kay Woodward. She is a great leader. She has been a professor at Converse, and her work um, around our community is exemplary. I didn't know until recently that she's Dr. Woodward. You know, and she, she doesn't care to be called Dr. K. Woodward. I think that is a true a testament to her character and who she is as a person. I always called K. my child, so I felt like I was a part of the family always down through the years, and I claim her as my daughter. She is so loving and kind, and she, she don't forget anybody. And she shows that, she, that love that comes out and she, she, she's just Kay. And it's nothing that she won't do for you. Spartanburg loves Kay Woodward. I love Kay Woodward. I have a passion for what I do. And the irony is that dealing with 
death every day gives you an appreciation for the gift of life. Um, every day is a gift from God. I don't know what we do without them because they do good work and they're so passionate about what is going on in your life and thing. If there's anything they can do, they're going to be there. And that's why I think they've gone as far as they have. I believe the Centennial is just as much, if not more, about the community than my family and the mortuary. Your clients and your community have to trust you and believe in you. I'm just so proud to be a part of it. And my daddy would, honey, he would be so thrilled to know this because he thought a lot of uh, Wood. It's very heartening to see the J.W. Woodward Funeral Home standing strong and proud. When I was a little boy, J.W. Woodward Funeral Home stuck with me to be a part of that now. 100 years, celebrating 100 years of history. I mean, you, it just, you can't, there's no words for it. <laughs> You don't look at like year after year, you're just serving people day by day, and next thing you know, it's 100 years. What their 100 years really celebrates is that tradition and that deep respect for the community they serve and for the people they care so much about. And they're just a loving family with a loving spirit. I know that this firm will stand 100 plus more years. I believe the funeral home has sustained a hundred years of service to the community uh, because of its loyalty uh, to its families. I believe that the centennial will leave an everlasting mark on this community that we serve. The J.W. Woodward Funeral Home truly is the home that service built, and its unparalleled service will continue to sustain this home day after day for many years to come.